South Africa and South Africans. Uh, I have a message I would like to share with you today so that you may pray for South Africa. You are living right there in South Africa, or maybe you may be a South African, but you are living in other country or other countries. Yes, you have to pray for South Africa. Yes, there's something I saw for this country that I would like to share with you right now. Glory to Jesus. South Africa is one of the great nations in Africa. Yes, even in the world. Hallelujah. But the, the enemy is trying his best to destroy this country. And then he will use only the people from South Africa. But God is a loving God. He loves you, South Africans. And then as you are praying also, you'll be praying, God is going to reverse this plan of the enemy. Hallelujah. May God bless you. I'm greeting you all and I love you all, people of God. Yes, brothers and sisters living in South Africa or South Africans, pray for the country. I saw the division in the government of South Africa. A very serious division. And in the realm of the spirit, I saw the people in government, those in power, the authorities, divided. They were like in, 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 in the parliament, like they were like in this one place, all of them in a, a, a very big room. And then they were discussing things concerning the country. And I, I heard them speaking also about foreigners. But when they mentioned the name of foreigners in South Africa, this is how the group or the government, like the, the authority or the government were divided, was divided. Others were speaking negatively and the others were speaking positive. So they couldn't get a go along or get along. And they were divided. And there were others speaking ang with ang anger. You know, they are speaking like against foreigners and the others were defending foreigners. And they, they were divided completely. Hallelujah. So pray for South Africa that the government of this country may not be shaken. Hallelujah. They, they, they may, the government of South Africa, sorry, may be shaken. And a, a very serious shaking, shaking may take place in the government of South Africa. But prayer can change everything. If you can pray, I believe the Lord God is going to do the rest. Yes. And if you are living in South Africa, foreigners, keep praying for yourself. Because I prophesied concerning foreigners in South Africa almost a year ago. Now, keep praying because what I saw in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of the spirit, I said I saw the Oma face closed completely. And the foreigners could not get papers and documents to work to do any movement in South Africa anymore. And they were complaining. This is what I saw one, one year, I think one year and a few months ago. Pray, brothers and sisters living in South Africa, that the Lord God may have mercy on you and deliver you as well. Yes. And then as you are living in South Africa, brothers and sisters, you are foreigners, you also have to behave yourself. Yes. Behave yourself. I know not all foreigners are bad. I know not all foreigners are living in South Africa are bad. They are also those foreigners are living rightly. You know, they are living, they are respecting the law of the country. And they, they, they also doing things to, to push the country, South Africa, to go forward. But there are some foreigners who are doing funny things in South Africa. They are messing the reputation of all other fo foreigners. But we'll keep, I'll keep supporting your prayers, and we are going to keep supporting your prayers, that the Lord God may be with you, because he's a God of foreigners. May the Lord God bless you and be with you, my brothers and sisters. Uh, let us keep connecting. Hallelujah. Um, and keep connecting as we are spending time in God's presence. Sometimes we are live in the morning to pray for nations. Keep connecting. Let us keep praying together and we believe the Lord will do the rest. May the Lord God bless you and be with you. And then have a wonderful day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.